The legal profession is one of the last holdouts, still clinging to the misguided belief that being smart equals getting the client's business. Big mistake. Find out more in today's show. Welcome back to year three of this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Master Trainer, President of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo, Japan, and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. The Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery, the Egyo, is available on Amazon. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 142, and we are talking about lawyers as salespeople. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. The bestseller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new Bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear, and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is a product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Winning with Relationship Selling course now in either Japanese or English. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. Sore dewa ikimoshō. So let's get going. Lawyers have spent a lot of time studying to pass their bar exams. When they graduate, they are white collar, galley slaves, shackled to the legal partners' teams doing the grunt work for years until they can be allowed on deck. As they move up the ranks, they begin to interact with clients. After a few more years, they actually have to go out and get clients. Lawyers are proud of their achievements, their study, their knowledge of the law, their brains. They want the clients to appreciate all of this and as a consequence, give them work. This is the I deserve it school of sales in the law. Knowledge is valuable. I have knowledge. Therefore, you need to have me to help you sort out these various issues you are facing. Once upon a time, that was the way of the legal profession. A bunch of lawyer nerds serving up legal rocket science to companies. Times change. And now there are lots and lots of lawyers all vying for their share of the pie. Faced with such a proliferation of buying choices, what do clients do? They do what they do for all the other purchases they make. They apply the no like, and trust rule. To know the legal firm means to have a trusted confidant provide some testimonial style advice on how they performed in the past, how reliable they were, and their degree of expertise in this particular area. If there is no track record which the client can judge, then this no process is the equivalent of the cold call in sales. The like part is the legal equivalent of a doctor's bedside manner. This is a great metaphor for the legal profession. The diagnosis component requires two great skills, listening and questioning. Asking well-designed questions to uncover the client's needs. This is selling 101. The delivery of the solution requires great skill to engage the trust of the client. 
This is what we call explaining the features of the solution in the sales world. Many lawyers tend to stop there, believing their job is now done, but they are in grave error. Instead, the features of the solution require to have the respective benefits attached to them. The application of those benefits need explaining, and so does how they, this all will impact the business. Evidence of where this has worked elsewhere needs to be marshaled to sustain the argument, and then we ask for the business using a trial close. Lawyers are all in sales. They just don't know it. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's packed with value, so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcast Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tachijin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcast. Also, every Monday, we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show. And every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday, we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode 143, we we're talking about tonal variety is a must for presenters. Onigai Tashimas, please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan Business Mastery.